Now there you go, all finished, just to hook up the tractor and give it a test. So we usually spread um, 18612 on our silage ground and we have a ton of it here. Um, it's in the small 50 kilo bags, but uh, it'll be a good test for the spreader anyway. But uh, we'll get it down. I have to attach the PTO and um, fill it up with uh, four or five bags and we'll try the pound fields first. So I lost a little bit of footage from the beginning of the video um, but I was just speaking about what I was going to do to coat the uh, hopper of the fur spreader and uh, we just decided to leave it unpainted, ungalvanized for this use because um, we were just using it for this day, uh, spread this one ton of 18612 and um, then it would be left in the shed, cleaned and left in the shed right after. So left it unpainted and I plan to get it galvanised as soon as I can, as soon as the lockdown is up and um, they're taking some non-essential items in at the, uh, the galvanisers. Um, as you can see we put five bags in there, it would probably fit another three or four I'd say, so it would fit at least eight bags, eight or nine bags, um, maybe even ten, so it has quite the capacity, um, but yeah we were just putting five bags on at that time. so. That's all we did.
so we're spreading away here in one of the bigger silage fields up near the house, um, 18612. We're spreading about 100 kilo per acre, about two bags to the acre. Uh, it's pretty heavy, a lot of people might go heavier than that. But uh, that's what we're spreading out. The first spreader isn't giving me any trouble at all. It's working like it should. It's a fairly simple machine. Um, but like all the single uh, spinner, first spreaders, it throws it more to one side. So um, when I do go around, I stick tight to the last pass on the left. And then when I'm swinging right, I take a nice a uh, good turn and uh, a bigger gap. Try and spread it as evenly as I can here on the field um, and I think it's going on pretty well. It's going on, it's going on quick. And we're just getting in between the showers. Uh, so it's lovely weather for getting the fertilizer out. The bit of rain now and again to uh, wash it in. Um, and there's no, no harm in frost or anything in the cold weather. Because there's uh, long enough grass that it's sitting in to insulate it. And yeah, just uh, there, there won't be any any cold weather, I don't think, anyway. The meadows are coming on grand. Uh, the meadow I was in last night is doing the best over in the pound. These two uh, aren't too great now, uh, to be honest. Especially the big one. The big one is fairly bare. Um, I'm not sure why. I'd say if I was ever to go reseed in any fields, which I, I hope I can do soon, uh, the big one would be the first one to do. It would, it would get us the biggest yield if it was redone. and. Um, it's the worst off at the minute.
this ground uh, this ground is as bare as anything uh, it looks like it was just cut there's no after grass in it at all and there was nothing grazing it um, hmm. very strange now Get a bit of 18612 on it anyway.